Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn. To you, Shalom. What I said earlier was uh, Hebrew. And I said the name of the Heavenly Father in Hebrew, which is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the only true name of his son who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus. And Rechar Kodash is the Spirit Holy, which is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago, and uh, this is a this is a photo, a satellite photo of uh, Hurricane Matthew from like 2016. All right, the one that happened in Florida, and um, as you can see, it kind of looks like a bugged out demon slash skull face smiling. And, um, you know, with this new hurricane that's happening uh, soon to hit Florida, you're seeing like, uh, you know, Esau pushing it out on the news. Um, people are beginning to talk and say, um, you know, conspiracy theorists that this is a um, controlled weather manipulation, government controlling, etc., uh, which could very well be true. All right. And even if it is man-made, you know, it's ultimately still the Heavenly Father, um, his power being used, you know, through um, uh, allowing Esau to use his, his witchcraft with his technology to still do his will regardless. All right. I'm going to start in Isaiah 29 and 6. It reads, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So that's how the Heavenly Father visits. All right. That's how he visits. That's how he, that's where he he uses his judgment through natural disasters and again whether it's man-made or naturally occurring it's still the heavenly father or it's still his will it's still his his power whether if it's on the right side or the left side all right this is how he he visits the earth all right with judgment all right and uh, you have people over there that are trying to evacuate, but they can't because they stopped all the flights. Um, it's damn near impossible to leave by vehicle. Everybody trying to leave at the same time, bumper to bumper traffic and the the aid and support that other people are giving. You know, you're having these these blacked out helicopters ruining the supplies by hovering above and the the turbulence the wind thrust whatever you call it from the propellers is blowing all the all the goods away so seeming like you know something something fishy is going on all right and people that are trying to come in to help are being threatened with the rust all right this is Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. And his name is Yahweh. 
who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He's the one that's able to do these things. All right. He's the power that could bind the wind up in his fist and the waters in his garment. All right. And through his power, he's able to use that wind and water to do his will, whether it's natural or man-made. All right. This looks bugged out low key if you really look at it. So who knows um, the uh, the the damage this is gonna do? All right, and they're they're talking about this being a uh, a record breaking. All right, a record breaking um, hurricane. This is Psalm 17 and 13. It says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right. And the wicked is Esau, Edom. All right. You can read Malachi, the first chapter. It lets you know Esau is the border of wickedness. Esau is also um, the sword of. Uh, which is his blessing in, in Genesis. His blessing was the sword. And in Revelations, the sixth chapter, the red horse was given that great sword, which is Esau, Edom. All right. And his sword is his weapon. OK, it could be back in the ancient times. It was the literal sword. Now it's his his guns, his missiles, his um, technology. OK. And the Heavenly Father uses Esau, which is the sword, to do what? To do judgment with. All right. And, you know, watching some of these videos of people talking about that, the government and, you know, this is this is man made and they're manipulating it and using weather manipulation because there are treaties out there with other nations where you can't use weather manipulation as a form of a weapon uh as a tactic in war which esau breaks that anyways all right but um you know this goes to show you that esau could use his technology to 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 do his wickedness but ultimately it's still the heavenly father's power that's allowing it to happen because he's the one that gave him this technology gave him the understanding as the scriptures say, he created the smith that blow up the coal. All right. So, you know, if it is, then it's ultimately still the heavenly father. If it isn't, if it's natural, it's still ultimately the heavenly father that's doing these things. And this is a form of judgment raining out over there on the earth and wherever else his judgment happens. All right, with that, Yahweh Ratazah, this was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.